Happy Lunar New Year and Happy Valentine's Day! I'm Master Tifu Flower and welcome to my crafting channel. I will post videos regularly, so please subscribe and turn on your notification button so you don't miss any of my videos. From the last tutorial, I have prepared the Parker 51 fountain pen with Hanji primer. Today, I will show you how to paint it with the gloss black Ulushi. Gloss black is the most common and easiest finish for Ulushi lacquerware. The painting process usually takes 12 days to complete. Meow! This is a technique that every Ulushi crafter must know. You may need to practice on a piece of wood or a cheap plastic pen several times before you master this technique. For this project, you will need gloves and face mask for your safety. Fulo that we made in lesson 2. Set it at 20 degrees Celsius and 90% humidity. Paint brush, scissors, Shin Yoshino paper, yellow tonoko powder. We are using two types of raw ulushi, kijomi and sashime. If you don't have both, you can just use kijomi. Black ulushi, you may use kuro nuridate or lo ilo ulushi. For cleaning and polishing, you need camphor oil, washing up liquid, water, vegetable oil, lo ilo migaki powder, sandpaper, one each for 1200 and 1500 grit, a saw, needle file, suruka charcoal, fountain pen from the last tutorial. Remember to wear gloves and keep your room well ventilated. Always wear a mask when you're handling powder. Stay safe, meow! The gloss black finish is typically comprised of 5 coats of black ulushi, 2 layers of base coats, 2 layers of middle coats, and 1 top coat. Then, it is polished to high gloss. Let's get started. There are 5 steps for the base coat. They are paint, sand and repair, seal, paint, and sand. Step 1. Wash your pan with washing up liquid and water. Let it dry thoroughly for at least 4 hours. Next, paint a layer of black ulushi as the first initial coat on the pan. Let it cure in a fullo for at least 24 hours. Step 2. Wet sand the pan with 1200 grit sand paper. Clean the pan regularly with a cloth to check it. Don't worry if you sand through the top layer of paint. It is fine as long as you don't see the plastic substrate. You will also find a few dents and defects on the pan. If the defect is shallow, you can fill it by painting a thick layer of black ulushi on it with a spotter brush. For deeper defects, you may need to repair it with sabi ulushi. Check tutorial 3, the Hanji primer tutorial for the recipe of sabi ulushi. The filler should be slightly raised and cover a larger area than the defect. Let it cure in a fullo for at least 24 hours. After it is cured, wet sand the surface to smooth using 1200 grit sand paper. Clean it with a cloth and check it with your finger. The surface should be perfectly smooth to touch. Wash the pan with water and dry it. Step 3. Paint a layer of raw ulushi onto the pan to seal it. Wait for 5 minutes and wipe off the excess. Cure it in the fullo for a day. Step 4. Filter some black ulushi with Shin Yoshino paper. Cut a 7cm white stripe and fold it into half to create a 2-layer filter. Add the black ulushi onto the middle of the paper. Fold it into half and roll from the top. Twist the paper to squeeze out the filtered ulushi. To paint a nice and even coat, my servant cleans the brush with camphor oil followed by filtered ulushi. Step 5. 
Tap the filtered black Ulushi evenly onto the pan. Turn the pan holder with the non-dominant hand. Using the dominant hand to hold the brush, slowly move the brush from the bottom to the top and spread the Ulushi evenly. Then, brush vertically. Cure the second initial coat in the fulo for at least a day. Step 5. Wet sand the pan with 1500 grit sandpaper. Then wash it with water and allow it to dry. The middle coat is simply two coats of black ulushi. Step 6. Fold another piece of Shin Yoshino paper twice to create a four-layer filter. Then, filter the black ulushi. Clean the brush at step 4 and paint the first middle coat on the pan. After it is cured in a photo for a day, wet sand the pan very lightly with 1500 grit sand paper. Wash it with water and allow it to dry. Step 7. Repeat step 6 for the second middle coat. Most crafters prefer suruga charcoal than sandpaper or sandstone when sanding the top coat and the second middle coat because charcoal is easier to shape and less likely to sand through the coats. Identify the surfaces on the charcoal, cross-section surface, radial surface, pith, and tangential surface. We always sand using the tangential surface, vertical to the wood fibers. Cut the charcoal into small pieces with a saw and shape it with a file. Soak the charcoal in water for 5 minutes before use. Step 8. Sand the surface using a piece of charcoal. The surface should be perfectly smooth without any dent or depression. Do not worry if you start seeing the second middle coat. The top coat will cover it. Wash the pan and allow it to dry. The top coat is one layer of black ulushi. It is the most difficult step in this project. The top coats should be dust-free and flawless. Step 9. Filter the black ulushi with four layers of paper and clean the brush thoroughly with camphor oil and filtered ulushi. Paint an even coat on the pan as step 6. You will need to remove all the dust on the pan using the corner of your paintbrush. When the surface is dust-free, smooth the surface by brushing the pan horizontally using the turning method as previously described. This layer must be flawless. There should be subtle brush marks and minimal dust on the finished coat. Let it cure for two days. The texture of the subtle brush marks give character to the pan. Hence, some schools of Ulushi craft finish at this stage. If you like a perfect high gloss finish, step 10. Sand the finish coat carefully with a piece of charcoal. The surface should be perfectly smooth and matte without any dent or depression. If you sand through the top coat, you'll need to clean and dry the pan and redo from step 8. Sorry, meow. Step 11. Mix yellow tonoko powder with vegetable oil to create a coarse polishing paste and polish the pan. Wash the pan with washing up liquid. Step 12. To make a fine polishing paste, mix lo ilo migaki powder with vegetable oil. Polish the pen with it. 
then wash the pan with washing up liquid and allow it to dry. This is the traditional way, but there are numerous polishing pastes available that are fit for this purpose. Step 13. Rub on a layer of Kijami Ulushi using lint-free cloth. Wait for 5 minutes and rub off the excess. Cure it for a day. Step 14. Repeat step 13 once. Step 15. Polish the pen with the fine polishing paste. Wash the pen with washing up liquid and allow it to dry. Step 16. Last step. Rub on the last layer of Kijami Ulushi using lint-free cloth. Wait for 5 minutes and rub off the excess. Cure it for a day. Now, the pan is nice and glossy. Meow. I've done the same for the section. You can polish the finished pan with fine deer horn powder as the traditional way. You can start decorating your pan now. Next time, we will show you how to decorate this Ulushi pan with gold leaf. My servant is having an exam soon, so there will be no new video for a month. But we will come back very soon. Wish us luck and stay tuned! If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share our video to your friends. Your support means a lot, a lot to us. See you next time, and happy crafting! Meow meow.